Enhancing the production and productivity of oil palm and cocoa is one of the key objectives of the Agricultural Value Chain Development Project, AVDP. In total, over 5,000 hectares of new oil palm and 6,000 hectares of cocoa plantation are due to be cultivated over the lifespan of the project. This will be done mostly in the various oil palm and cocoa belt areas of Sierra Leone. Already, 3,000 individual farmers are currently outplanting 3,000 hectares of climate resilient, hybrid, and fast growing oil palm plantation, while 1,500 individuals each now own a hectare of cocoa plantation. The AVDP project ensures that farmers carry out a climate smart agricultural approach to ensure its activities does not negatively affect the environment. The beneficiaries operate in groups of 30 to 35 members each in ensuring quality service delivery and collaboration with national institutions, an MOU was signed between the AVDP, Jala University, and the Sierra Leone Agricultural Research Institute, SLARI, for the management of the pre-nursery seedlets and the cloned seeds, for subsequent transfer of the seedlings to the various nursery sites, for onwards outplanting to the individual farms, and for developing hybrid seeds in-country. In line with gender equality and persons living with disability, 40% of the beneficiaries are women and 40% comprise of youth and persons with disability. 30 years old Sierra Kamara of Kabombe community in Bombali district is now a proud owner of an oil palm plantation. Sierra says the future is very promising for her and her entire household. This is my farmland where I'm going to plant my two and a half acre, which is 150 oil palm seedlings. Before now, we the women have little or no influence in controlling plantation. But with the AVDP intervention, we are now going to own plantation and after three years, we will start to harvest. The returns from the harvest will empower us to have money to take care of our family needs, especially our children, welfare and education without depending on men. Cocoa and oil palm production have many economic benefits, but low private sector investment slackens its growth over the years, which is partly due to lack of high yielding inputs and in technology. However, the government is keen on revitalizing the cocoa and oil palm production, a move that is triggered by the policy shift of the Minister of Agriculture and implemented by the AVDP thanks to funding provided by IFA. As the technical director of the AVDP explains, the tree crop production initiative will considerably increase the livelihood and income of 10,000 farmers over the period of six years. And the objective of this component is actually to enhance the economic viability of you know, tree crops and uh, climate resilience, oil palm and cocoa, and link them to effectively private sector markets in this country. And um, the good thing about this component, all the planting materials that are delivered or, you know, given provided to farmers are hybrid. The technology transfer is done through the farmer fee school approach, a farmer-led on-site teaching and learning methodology via basic agronomic practices and hands-on farming skills are facilitated by trained field extension officers from the Ministry of Agriculture. A key challenge though is access and permanent ownership to land, especially for women and youths. But the project succeeded in encouraging community stakeholders to willingly make land available to women and youths through a land lease agreement that guarantees unhindered access and ownership. The project has made us realize that if both women and men own plantations, it will be beneficial to our community. This will help us tackle problems all together as a community. The women will also be empowered to solve their welfare needs without depending on men. That is why we have agreed as land-owning authorities to give women and youth access to land by signing land lease agreements to ensure they have permanent control and ownership. Any service we get, we demand them. As custodians of the land, 
We have agreed to allocate land to our women because the plantation is not only for them but also for their children. Young persons are often excited in owning property, especially in rural communities. And as Fatum Tassise put it, the hope for a future financial security is now assured. Hey, hey, hey. Hey.